The Simplot name is up on the list of the 50 richest families in the United States of America. The family had played a huge role in American cattle and vegetable farming. They are the reason for success behind the McDonald's fries. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we will be talking about one of the wealthiest families in the United States of America, the Simplot family. The J.R. Simplot Company was formed in 1929 by the Simplot family's patriarch, John Richard, Jack or J.R. Simplot. This Idaho-based agricultural provider is one of the world's largest privately held companies. He was the third of six children born to Charles R. and Dorothy Simplot in Dubuque, Iowa. His maternal grandmother was English, as were both of his maternal grandfathers and paternal grandmother's parents. Both of his paternal great-grandparents were French. A year later in 1910, the family moved a thousand miles or 1,600 kilometers west to a homestead in south-central Idaho's freshly irrigated Magic Valley. The Minidoka Dam on the Snake River had been finished a few years before. Simplot dropped out of school in the eighth grade due to his disagreements with his father. J.R. left home at the age of 14 to work on a farm near Declo, Idaho, where he learned the best techniques to feed pigs. He got into the potato and vegetable processing industry after his experience there. His early work was spent growing and storing and distributing fresh potatoes. In 1929, he established his first produce firm in southern Idaho. He developed a dehydrator and began processing significant amounts of dried potatoes and onions in a factory near Caldwell, Ohio in 1941. Mr. Simplot delivered about 33 million pounds of dehydrated potatoes to the United States Armed Forces under contract to the federal government from 1942 to 1945. Production started in 1944 at the Simplot Company's first fertilizer manufacturing plant in Pocatello. Because farmers couldn't receive enough fertilizer during World War II, Jack Simplot spotted a need he could serve and moved outside the food sector. Following the war, the corporation leased property on the Fort Hall Indian Reservation to supply the Pocatello fertilizer plant with phosphate ore. The Gay Mine, named for Mr. Simplot's daughter, delivered the first ore shipments to the facility in 1946. Mr. Simplot established the first Simplot Soil Builders Agricultural Service facilities in Ohio and Oregon in 1945. Approximately 80 of the stores now provide agronomic goods and services to farmers in the West and Midwest under the new moniker Grower Solutions. Mr. Simplot created a canning and dehydrating quick freeze business in which employees tested frozen potato products around the same time the soil builder Grower Solutions firm was formed. In the late 1940s, the Simplot company is credited with developing the first commercial frozen french fry. J.R. was the owner and operator of 33 potato warehouses by 1940. His inventive nature was directed toward advancing the field of vegetable processing. In 1967, his firm earned a large contract as a supplier of potatoes to McDonald's. This growth resulted in the establishment of multiple plants, some of which eventually shifted their concentration to fertilizer development. Following his father's contract with McDonald's, Scott Simplot joined the company's board of directors in 1970. Gay, his daughter, works in the family company as well. J.R. had two further kids, Don and Richard, with his first wife, Ruby Rosevere. Ruby died in the year 1993. J.R. married opera singer Esther Becker in 1972. Simplot and McDonald's founder Ray Kroc agreed by handshake in 1967 that the Simplot company would provide the restaurant chain with frozen french fries. Previously, restaurants chopped potatoes at each site for fresh french fries, but the popular russet potato was unavailable for three months during the summer, causing a quality control issue. Simplot could offer frozen russet potatoes all year. All fries were frozen by 1972. The frozen fry contract resulted in the development of Simplot potato processing factories and the construction of a new factory in Hermiston, Oregon in 1977. Simplot provided more than half of the fast food chain's french fries by 2005. To add to its tremendous fortune, the J.R. Simplot company supplied beginning financing for the budding Micron Technology, a Boise-based producer of computer memory chips, in the early 1980s. He also made significant investments in Remington Oil. Simplot founded the Brundage Mountain Ski Facility near McCall, 
two hours north of Boise in 1961. In April 2006, the Simplot Company sold a 50% stake in Brundage to the longtime co-owners, the DeBoer family. Simplot provided financial assistance to the budding Bogus Basin Ski Slope near Boise in the early 1950s. The Base Level Lodge is named in his honor. J.R. Simplot Company entered into Australia in 1995, acquiring renowned food brands such as Birdseye, Legos, Chico, and Edgel. Simplot stepped down as president of his firm in 1973 but remained chairman until 1994. He resigned from that post in 1994 when his children, Don, Gay, and Scott, as well as one of his grandchildren, Ted, were appointed to the board of directors. Jack was appointed chairman emeritus. He served as chairman emeritus until his death in 2008. Simplot and his wife Esther lived at the Grove Hotel building in downtown Boise, a few streets from the company's offices, until his death. In late 2004, the couple gave their hilltop house in Boise's North End to the state of Idaho for use as a governor's palace. Simplot Company was founded by Scott Simplot, who took over as director of operations from his father. Simplot began breeding sheep in 1938, but exited the business in the late 1950s to focus on cattle and farming. Initially, the cattle industry arose out of necessity, as the animals assisted in the disposal of byproducts from potato processing factories. However, the company's feedlots grew into a full-time business in their own right, as one of the first large livestock suppliers to sell cloned cow meat. The announcement made headlines throughout the world in 2007, eliciting both scientific and commercial accolades, as well as environmentalist opposition. The Simplot Company is now a diverse food and agricultural conglomerate, employing 10,000 employees. Its primary industries include food processing, fertilizer manufacture and retail distribution, farming and ranching, and other agricultural companies. Simplot has operations throughout the western and midwestern United States, as well as Mexico, Canada, China, and Australia. Mr. Simplot has other business interests outside of his own. In 1980, he got interested in the Young Micron Technology Organization and provided initial funding to help the chip company get started. Following that, he continued to invest in Micron shares, assisting the company in surviving its early years. Jack Simplot was a philanthropist in addition to being a successful businessman. Not unexpectedly, he was recognized for his financial donations and active participation by several towns, schools, and institutions, business and professional associations, and civic and charity organizations. Mr. Simplot made large contributions to Idaho colleges and universities, as well as other educational institutions, because he believed passionately in the value of education. He was a regular graduate speaker for high schools and colleges, and he appreciated the opportunity to talk to students about the value of a solid education. He was a director of Micron Technology, Idaho Power Company, McDonald's Corporation, Independent Coal and Coke Company, First Security Corporation, and Continental Life and Accident Company, among others. He was also chairman and previous chairman of the College of Idaho's Board of Trustees in Caldwell. Simplot died suddenly at his home at age 99 on May 25, 2008, with his wife at his side, following a bout of pneumonia from which he appeared to be recovering. His death occurred moments after he had invited a friend to his home to play cards. The family's net worth is said to be around $7.7 .7 billion. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.